How do you see our world? When you look around, do you see hurt, frustration, corruption, anger, exhaustion, anxiety? While these are realities, in the midst of this, we at TLT see an opportunity to empower and equip the next generation to lead the charge for a better future. Great leadership is the foundation of a healthy society. You may think that leaders are special or called or above, but leadership is influence and everyone has influence. If this influence isn't stewarded well, it is dangerous. Raising the next generation to be great leaders is sustainable development in action. We do this through collaboration, the process of sharing the educational load. Our leadership skills development program is designed creatively and intentionally to inspire and equip young people with the tools they need to be world changers. This year-long program focuses on developing young people as ethical leaders, innovators, and champions of diversity and inclusion. The aim of our leadership program is to maximize the potential of every young person we engage with. Through a creative and dynamic blended learning process, we want to release the next generation into their full potential and help them discover their identity and purpose. The answer to what our world craves is a generation of passionate, innovative, and servant-hearted leaders. That is what we are producing. Amazing, thank you for that wonderful introduction. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, just firstly, thank you to Course for Justice for organizing such a phenomenal uh, conversation. I think conversation is critical and vital if we are, look, are to find ways to move forward. And pulling our minds together and our hearts together is such a beautiful thing. So well done to you guys. Thank you for um, yeah, just um, the humbling invite to have our little say in how we st see uh, the future of the, the country developing through empowering and enabling young minds. It's something I'm very passionate about. Um, it's, it's a reason why I returned from the UK in 2015 on what was meant to be a two week holiday. And I'm still here six years later now uh, because we live in an amazing country and we have gold all around our country. And what we need to do is identify that gold and draw it out. And it is our responsibility, whether we want to do it or not, we must. If we look around us, the only option for us is to engage, activate, empower, but most of all, love our young people. Because if they have love at their core, they will be able to do and achieve anything. And so why TLT? Well, growing up is tough enough. It's really difficult in today's day and age to grow up without the societal pressure to have it all together. So you can imagine that. I mean, you know, you, you think about the noise in the world around you, and you think about the noise from social media, from your friends, uh, from all sorts of external factors, and you have to learn on how to manage those emotions, how to manage those feelings, and then make wise decisions. And what we decided at TLT to do is to create engaging content in a, in, in a multitude of ways, ways, which I'll take you through, which helps young people to navigate the daily pressures, empowering them to understand their identity, their purpose, and their value. Now, can you imagine being at school between the ages of 13 and 18 and leaving school, understanding who you are much better than when you entered school? And therefore, you are able to make wiser decisions as to what do I want to, what do I want to do next? Let me ask you a very quick question. Who left school knowing exactly who they were <laughs> and what they wanted to do? Raise your hand for me. Who figured it out maybe 10 or 15 years later? Who's still figuring it out? <laughs> you see, what we hope to do is if we can empower 15 to 20% of young people to understand better as they get leaving school about their identity and then their purpose and their value, we believe they will make wiser decisions. But we can't just expect that to happen. We need to initiate that. We need to engage with them. We need to mentor them. And through our methodology, which is to inspire 
inquire from and equip, we believe this can happen. You see, what's important isn't for me or our facilitators or our team to stand and tell a young person what we think they should hear. What we need to do is we need to inquire from them. Where are they? What is their understanding? How are they processing things? And off the back of that, use our skill sets, our experience, our expertise to equip them so that they can then take all that information and make the right decision. We hope which, what will be the right, right decision. So how, we, how have we done this? Very quickly, TLT has responded through um, developing three types of curriculum. Our main three curriculums are the TLT Life Orientation Curriculum, which is re really a response to saying life orientation in essence and what it covers, it actually covers topics that need to be discussed. It's important topics. It's just the delivery, the methodology, and the engagement factor that's been lacking. So alongside, and I do want to say this and be very clear, we are working alongside Department of Education because we know they have a huge task ahead of them in what they're doing. So we are partnering with them and we are piloting our material in, in a few prominent schools in KZN and Gauteng and in the Western Cape to find what is the best model of ALO and then how can we deliver it to as many schools as possible to get the results that we want to see for the future. So that's our ALO curriculum. We've also developed a student leadership program and then a standalone hot topic uh, uh, or standalone hot topic workshops. All three programs focus on inquiry based participatory learning with a focus on concepts rather than content and an emphasis on critical thinking and reflective practices. This is important. We have to allow young people to understand and how to, to, to look internally and to process things and to critically think about what they are being taught, what they are hearing, and what they are feeling as well. Because if we don't teach them critical thinking now, when they step into the world, they will know how, have no idea of how to process information that's being uh, put across to them. So for us, that is absolutely vital. In regards to um, how, uh, you know, what we expect, and from a, competen a competencies uh, perspective, so TLT learners, we hope and we trust, will recognize their identity, purpose, and value, will become empathetic and self-reflective leaders, will think critically about their role in shaping society in which they live. And I just want to pause on that for a couple of 10, 15 seconds. We want young people to understand and realize that they have a role in also sh shaping society. They have a role in shaping their peers at school. And it starts there. And if we can equip them to have that mindset and do it within a schooling uh, environment or whatever educational environment they find themselves in, hopefully that replicates itself out in the open world and therefore we would see a bigger and better and brighter future because we have young people that understand how to do that. We want young people to become active citizens in the communities they live in and will develop the qualities of a servant-hearted leader. I'm going to say this, I'm going to be brave in saying this, some people think love is a fluffy word. Love is the most powerful word in the universe. It is the core, it is the central factor of everything. And we want young people to lead and to serve with love at their core. We want every decision they make to be based from that place. Yes, they need to be equipped. Yes, they need to all have all these other factors. But actually, what's most important is that they love themselves and they, that they love others better. And they equip the skill sets in order to do that. Um, so our, hot, our, our life orientation basically will take learners through um, all of the different processes to achieve their full physical, intellectual, personal, emotional, and social potential. Learners will develop skills to respond to challenges and play an active and responsible, responsible role in, in the uh, economy and society. Learners will exercise their constitutional rights and responsibilities and to respect the rights of others, which is vital. Learners, uh, learners will make informed and responsible decisions about their health, environment, subject choices, further studies, and careers. Learners will respond appropriately to life's responsibilities and opportunities. Learners will interact optimally on a personal, psychological, cognitive, motor, physical, moral, spiritual, cultural, so socioeconomic level. Learners will make informed and responsible decisions about their own health and well-being and the health and well-being of others. Learners will be exposed to their constitutional rights and responsibilities, to the rights of others and the issues of diversity. Learners will be equipped with the knowledge, skills, values to make informed decisions about subject choices, careers, additional 
and higher education opportunities and the world of work. And finally, what we see is learners will be exposed to various study methods and skills pertaining to the assessment processes. That's purely to do with our ELO curricula, which is, has been designed and is, uh, is caps, uh, caps aligned as well. So we are having a, an exciting time right now in, in operating in schools, and we're doing it in three, in three methods presently. Number one, the schools are using our curriculum with our facilitators to roll out ELO. The second way we are doing it, uh, doing it is the schools are using our curriculum and we are equipping and training the teachers to roll it out. And the third way is some schools are running LO days. So they pick s seven days across the year and they focus on LO on that days. And we'll go in with our team and we'll run the entire LO day for them. And based on all the data and information uh, and responses from the young people that we get, we are trying to find a hybrid model, the best model, uh, in order to, de to deliver LO. So I'm not gonna take up any further time. I did say to Rian uh, that I wanted a short amount of time just to chat about the program, because I prefer dialogue. Uh, you might be able to tell I'm a bit of a talker. So I prefer dialogue. I'm gonna be positioned somewhere uh, over there. Um, and if you would like to come and find out more about our program, more about ourselves and our team, um, you're welcome to come and have a chat with me. Thank you once again for the opportunity.